I have just been informed of something, and I, I am speechless. No, and don't go shaking your damn heads back there, being scared of your own shadows. This is mm, wrong. Be a man sometimes. Sully came in today. You got, If you listen to the show for any period of time, you know the deal. Sully is a LeBron fanatic, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I have made the point before. Sully uh, can annoy with his level of fandom. So, naturally, the Cavs won the title last night. Sully came in head to toe in Cavs gear. Mm-hmm. Now, he'll tell you it's LeBron gear. I'll tell you it's Cavs gear. Let, let's leave it for another day. And I'll just tell you it looked ugly. But the point is simple. So, last segment, you heard Terry give you his top five NBA players. We had called for production, production that wasn't there. And I'll just, there's no way to get around it. Sully was being spoken to by management, which I can't believe. I think it's ridiculous. It's patently absurd. Okay? So, our market manager comes in, and then our program director comes in. Now, mind you. I don't know if if any show on this station gets messed with more than ours, okay? Whether it be for songs, break times, what we do, what we don't do, blah, 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 blah. So out of the corner of my eye, I see what's going down, and I go, all right, well, it's innocuous. I don't know. We always get messed with. People always come in and have something to say about us. Okay. I go and I get my apple, right? My afternoon apple. I know it's pathetic, guys. What do you want? It's if this is my life. Really, you got to bring up the afternoon apple. I'm just saying, like, why? I leave and I get my apple and my no, little. No, Mike, we got something serious going on. You talking about a freaking apple? I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm just trying to add the the, the context right, of right, why right. you got your I'm afternoon apple, out. like a hospital patient. No, but I walk out and I see Sully is not in his cab stuff anymore. Yes. So you. So I just got filled in on this now. Since when do we have a dress code in this building? Now, I know. All right, if you're not, you know, if you're on the air or you work on the shows, wear sports stuff, whatever, you're good, right? Right. Well, apparently, you're not good. Now, as big of a boner as I think Sully can be with this Cavs routine, this is absurd. Sully's been handed a damn T-shirt and treated like a little kid and told he has to change? What the hell is wrong with this place? And, and you know what? I always say no man can wear a medium T-shirt. They got him a medium. No, look pathetic. how small it is. Right. <laughs> it's pathetic. And second of all, I, look at my. But, but here's you what know I, he looks like. He looks like this guy named Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill used to be. Uh, he was stuck inside of a wall, and the only thing to move with is his arms and legs. Uh, it's it's wrong, and I don't care. What, I mean, what I'm not. What am I going to do? Get in trouble? You're not supposed to talk about it. It's ridiculous. Don't come in in the middle of the damn show and tell my producer he's got to change. I don't know what to say, man. Put your shirt back on. If you're a man, you put your shirt back on. We'll support you, Mike. Why? Well, look at you. Why? It's, would, it's not a huge. It's not. Mike, it's not worth looked, dying over. But you look ridiculous, you're not man. Gonna die. What are they gonna do? Fire you? You look you like pick a little. Your you look like a little boy in that little t-shirt. You should have seen him folding up his LeBron shirt. It was like it was like like the American flag, <laughs> <laughs> like the soldiers. <laughs> Sully. Or, uh, are, are we, are we, are we doing this? Uh, can we please? Can we please wait for a commercial break? All right. You know what? Time out. Wow. Just uh, uh, hit the button. Hit the button. Let me take care. Uh, this is absurd. A message from Rick Kalel. We're, we're not. We're not doing this. Put the shirt back on. Mike, Kid. put the shirt on. Come on, dude. You cannot bend to this. They cannot tell you what T-shirt to wear if it is not offensive or racially charged or inappropriate for the workplace. There, is, I'm sorry, but come on, man. Mike, I'm going to wear a, a T-shirt tomorrow, you know, something Florida, something Arizona. Right. Nobody better say anything to me. The whole, Mike, the whole point is if you if you don't stand, if you, no, 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 don't tell me you're with me through the talk back. Th- tell me you're with me on the air. Mike, if you don't do this, you make it impossible for Terry and I to stand up for you. Right. You are cutting us at the knees. That's the whole point. They have no ground. Right. What are they going to do? Suspend you? All right. Now, stop, hold on. Stop right now. Stop right now. Sully, listen to me. Right now, turn, open that mic. You will open that mic, and I, anything Jimmy, Jimmy is saying to you, we can hear on the air. You want to come in here during the show, turn the mic on. Turn the what? mic on, or you're not our producer anymore. Turn the mic on. Turn the... David, we're, hit the button. We're trying. Somebody listen we're to trying me. to do a show here. 
What's God. going on? We need to know what's going on. Somebody hit the button. Turn the button on. Mike. Mike. Sully. Turn up. He doesn't have his headphones on. What are we going to do? I want go in there right now. Powers. Anything you're saying to him, you can say to us. Uh, go in there and turn I'm that microphone the on. on. Hit the button. Since nobody else behind the glass is doing her damn job, hit the button. I want to hear what's going on back there. I deserve that as an adult. Hit the button. It, can someone, please? Hello? What the hell's going on here? Hey, uh, Mike. Where, where? My, Mike. Mike. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, somebody better get him. He got suspended. Somebody better get him. All right. Because now the listeners realize <laughs> we're just messing with him. It's all a ruse. Somebody get him back in the room. The poor kid thinks he's gone. <laughs> Are you just <laughs> management controversy you ding dong are you kidding me <laughs> all, all of you guys uh, can can go to hell What's up? You know, and at first, I suspected. <laughs> just the, the way the way Deb was, I suspected this was a joke. <laughs> but then, as it progressed, I was like, "All right, this is definitely real." Now, then we then we did the interplay. We pitted you versus management. Mm -hmm. Then you versus wow. us. <laughs> oh, Mike! The whole thing. I coached him up. I went into Power's office and go, "Listen, now here's how we're gonna do it. You're gonna come in. You're gonna demand he take take it off. You're gonna challenge me. We're gonna send you home. The problem is you never turn the mic on." The whole bit was supposed to be you turn the mic on, we were going to tell you live on the air and get all the laughs. You never turned the mic on. You aced out, walked out. I almost peed my uh, bleep, bleeped, bleeped myself. Well, because Jimmy told me not to turn the mic on. And you don't listen well, to him. You listen to us. Can I, I give some to of my best lines. On, but I couldn't find wow. it. I got, I got two really good lines it's from when Sully was back here. Uh, like, get us the behind. The, get the he listeners goes, the behind the scenes. Here's one of Sully's best. He's like, he's like, I know, Roberto. I know, I'm caught in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> he, at one point, he had the one shirt half on and the one shirt half off. <laughs> you, you look like a chocolate vanilla twist. <laughs> oh, so awesome. And then he goes, oh, David, man. David, I would really appreciate it if you would go in there and talk to Michael <laughs> Terry. I, I think that you could really help out. Oh, but the best part for the listeners. So I went back there during the break. I had to keep a straight face with Hatchet. Right. Hatchet went preacher mode. Because he's sitting there he's going, Michael. He was my whole first name. No one called yeah, me yeah, Michael. He said Michael. My mom. <laughs> Michael, you have to understand the position he is in. You are you are forcing him to be insubordinate. This is not the fight, Michael. Did David, David, did you and Roberto know about this? Too? I had no idea. Okay. I don't no, know about Roberto. Roberto. Then, no, okay, no that makes me feel a little better. No, 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 no. I promise you, those two did not hoe you out. The two hoes are sitting right here. Oh, no, I didn't know either, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say that that is a very, very well done prank. Uh, we had to do something because all of us were getting our balls broken about having to look at you all day <laughs> with your cam stuff. So we figured we'd buy ourselves an hour, mm -hmm. just have a little fun, and then now, yeah, go ahead, put your hat back on a whole bit. You really think Debbie and you think Debbie and Powers care about what you I, wear? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> as, that, as that progressed, that all seemed real. That was 100%. That was the me. idea. Right. And Sully, you don't have to go out and buy blood pressure medicine now. Oh, You're okay. I'm, I'm going to have to now. <laughs> oh, when David was lecturing me, I had to stop from dying laughing because I'm like, David, no, this is bull. This is ridiculous. Right. It's not insubordination when the rule is stupid oh, i had to sell it as soon as i shut the door from behind the glass i busted out laughing in the lounge area <laughs> <laughs> don't be don't, hey mike don't be expecting to get any drops or songs or anything from me the rest of the day why is okay? that any different <laughs> yeah yeah, right. good. yeah i'll just have two robertos back there instead of one <laughs> yeah, and what, seriously though well, well done that was uh, uh, we wanted to have a little fun that's, yeah, pretty, that's pretty epic that's it's pretty pretty your epic. day but that's listen mm -hmm. full credit uh, when we went to powers with the idea and evan Deb played ball. We had a good time with it. So, yes, all of you in listener land, we had people calling and saying they were going to boycott sponsors. Right, I know. <laughs>